Hello to all. I hope that you are happy and in good health. In today's session, we are going to take the concept of sectors of the Indian economy. Let me recapitulate what we have studied in Standard 9. Economic activities and non-economic activities. Economic activities are associated with reward, remuneration, income, profit and non-economic activities are not associated with the said aspects. So, in case of economic activities, we are into something or the other by which we earn money by various kinds of activities. I am into teaching, your parents or your fam family friends must be in some act or the another to earn money. Like a farmer, a doctor or an industrialist. So, let us classify them into three groups, namely primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary sector, when activities are undertaken directly by using natural resources. Let us take the example of farming, dairy farming, horticulture. In case of cotton fiber, we cultivate in our farms with natural factors like sunshine, soil, climate, etc. Cotton is a natural product. Another example which you can show is dairy. We are dependent upon the natural process of animals. The product milk is a natural product. So, when we produce a good by exploiting natural resources, it comes under primary sector. Now, the question is why primary sector? Because it forms the base for all other products that we subsequently make. Since most of the natural products we get it from the agriculture, mining, fishing, dairy and so on, that is why this sector is also called as agriculture and related sector. Next sector is secondary sector. Activities in which natural products are changed into another form through the ways of manufacturing that is associated with industrial activities. Let us take the example what we had discussed about in the primary sector using cotton fiber from the plant we spin yarn and we weave cloth. Another example, using sugar cane, we make sugar or gur. Natural products to do something or they convert into something final with the use of machines or manufacturing happens in this industry. And that is why it is also known as industrial sector. The third sector is tertiary sector. In this sector, which helps the development of the primary as well as secondary sector. This sector does not produce anything by its own, but it works or it is an aid or support for the production process. For example, when the goods are produced in the primary and secondary sector, they need to be transported by trucks, trains, or any other transport and then sold to the wholesale or retail market. We need to talk about the other forms of support 
or an aid that helps in the development of primary and secondary sector. They are, for example, telephone, banking, storage, communication. They give an aid or support in the production of goods. Let us see the other important services which come under service sector are the teachers, doctors, lawyers, information technology and so on. These three sectors, namely primary, secondary and tertiary are interdependent upon each other. Let us see how these three sectors are interdependent upon each other. Sugarcane is grown, which comes under primary sector. If there is no transport to carry the sugarcane to the manufacturing units, that is sugar mills, the entire sugarcane will go waste. If the farmers refuse to sell sugarcane to the sugar mills, the mill will also have to shut down. And if the transport is not available to carry the sugar, the final product which comes under secondary sector to the market, the entire sugar mill will have to shut down. Looking at the various scenarios, we would say that all these sectors are interdependent and complement each other. So, I hope that you have understood that all these three sectors namely primary, secondary and tertiary. Let us recap what we have studied in this module. The three main sectors of the economy are primary sector where we have extraction of raw materials, examples are mining, fishing and agriculture. Secondary or manufacturing sector concerned with producing finished goods that is factories making toys, cars, foods and clothes. Service tertiary sector concerned with offer intangible goods and services to consumers. This includes retail, tourism, banking, entertainment and IT services. You can have a look at different sectors having different examples, primary, fishing, farming and mining. The same examples are also given for manufacturing sector and service sector respectively. So students, we have the assignments for you. The first question is explain the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary sector. Use appropriate examples. Second question, classify the following list of occupations under primary, secondary and tertiary sector. First one is priest, which sector he belongs to, flower cultivator, potter, basket weaver and tailor. And the third question for this assignment is explain the interdependence between the three sectors of the economy with, a, with an appropriate example. Thank you so much. The next topic we will be taking up will be comparison of the three sectors. Have a good day.